in this session I'm going to show you how to set up Ledger Lite to be used by multiple users. Now when you run Ledger Lite normally, it runs in what we call standard mode. So it's designed to run for a single user and it directly accesses the Ledger Lite database file. If we want to use it with multiple users, then we have to create two shortcuts. We're going to name one of these shortcuts Ledger Lite Client. And the other shortcut we'll call Ledger Lite Server. Now, when we run Ledger Lite through the shortcuts, we have to tell the program that we want it to run in a different mode. And to do this, we give it what we call a command line parameter. To specify a command line parameter, we have to go to the properties dialog of the shortcut and in the target field, after the name of the program file, we put a forward slash C. That's for client. So then when we run Ledger Lite with that shortcut, it will tell the program to run in client mode. And we do a similar thing with the server shortcut. We put in a command line parameter that says forward slash s, which means we want the program to run in server mode. And now, when we double click on the server, Ledger Lite server shortcut, it runs the program in server mode. And when we run it, we'll notice on our system tray a small Ledger Lite icon. That's to indicate that Ledger Lite is running in server mode. If we double click on this, it will bring up the Ledger Lite server main screen. And then we can go in and set up the names of the users that we want to have access to our Ledger Lite database. So we're going to set up two users for our example today. We'll put in Fred and we'll make Fred an administrator and we'll put in Tom but we'll leave Tom as being just a normal user. Now we double click on the Ledger Lite client icon and this will start Ledger Lite in client mode. It will prompt us for the IP address of the computer where the server is running. In this case, it's we've got them both on the same computer, but these could be on and probably will be on different computers in your setup. So we've got the server IP address, which we can read off the server main screen. Then we've got the port number, we can get that off the main screen. Then we're prompted to enter the username and password. So we'll log in as Fred. And we didn't give him a password, so that's all we need. And this will start up Ledger Lite in client mode. And then we can double click on the Ledger Lite client again and go through the 
prompts, and this time we put in Tom as the LedgerLite user. And we'll notice on the server screen we can see that we've got now two connections, one from Fred and one from Tom. And both of these clients will run the same as if they were running in standard mode, except that they are now accessing the same database. In practice, of course, Fred and Tom will be most likely not working on the same computer. They'll be they'll each have their own computer. So what you have to do on each user's computer is copy the Ledger-like program and then create the shortcut for making it run in client mode. You only need the server shortcut on the computer where the database file is located. And we'll also notice that when Tom runs Ledger Lite, he doesn't have access to the maintain menu or any of the reports. He has entry has access to the entry screens, the account screen, the cash book screen. He can make entries in any of the accounts or the cash books but he can't edit those entries or delete them. If he makes a mistake, he will need to correct it with, a, uh, with another entry, or he would need to go and speak to Fred or one of the other administrators who would be able to do that for him. 